Welcome to my 32 week pregnancy update where I talk about you know some of the symptoms that I've been feeling or just anything that I want to bring up at this time during the pregnancy. So I have been feeling good. Um, I do have moments where I have to sit down but I've, I've been I'm not feeling weak anymore. I feel like like I, I started working out again because before when I said I had stopped, which I hadn't really stopped, I was still walking, but before when I would even try to work out, my body would just tell me, no, you need to sit down and relax, you don't need to work out. But, um, you know, working out gives me more energy and it makes me, it makes my day better and so that's why I picked it up again. And like I said, I've been able to work out. My body hasn't been like, nope, nope, not today. It has let me work out and I feel so much better. So, which I think adds to the already feeling better and it makes me feel even that much better. So, um, though I still have a lot of help from my husband, he's been helping out a lot. Like in our whole marriage, I don't think he's helped this much. So that is just wonderful and I can't thank him enough for that. You know, cause this pregnancy, I have two kids already who I'm running after because literally they run around the house. And so, um, so I do need more help and so I'm glad that he's willing to help. But like I said, I'm not feeling weak anymore, which is great. Um, if anything, I still have the sciatic nerve pain um, pretty much all day, but it doesn't keep me from doing things. Sometimes I will be standing in a certain position and then I try to come off of it and I'm like, oh shoot, like I can't move, I can't move. But, um, you know, it's slowly I get back to moving and it's okay. So, like I said, if anything, that is what is still bothering me. Um, let's see, I can sleep pretty good now. I think my body is just getting used to sleeping on its side. And so I've been doing better with that where I've been able to get sleep so that's always nice because me no sleep equals bad mom <laughs> bad days so I'm so glad that I'm able to sleep now back to my uh, crochet blanket that I was making for the baby it took me a while just because I didn't have access to more yarn and so this is it it's pretty big um, it has the gray in the middle and then the white with just a little trim of gray. So uh, we have to keep it simple because we still don't know what we're having. I'm getting really excited just because a lot of my friends that I follow on Instagram are having their babies. And be careful, dear. They're having their babies and you know, they put pictures up and... No, don't move. Don't move it. Don't move it. And so it just makes me so excited that I'm going to be going through that soon. Vera. And like they have pictures of the their older kids meeting the baby and so that just gets me really excited. I do want to talk um, about kind of my plan for labor. I, I have had a labor and they were both induced but I have had a labor where um, and I was induced, sorry, they were both induced and I was induced after my due date. Because my babies just don't like to come early. But anyway, one I did have an epidural and the other one I didn't. Um, it was scheduled, but everything happened way too fast before the epidural was scheduled. So anyway, out of those two, I think with the epidural, it took me forever to recover, like to feel like myself again. And without it, for the, na the natural way that I went... Um, I guess it wasn't natural because I was induced, but I didn't get um, pain medication. And with that one, I felt like I could run a mile after. I mean, they had me walk to my recovery room. And I know that's like what they do when you don't have an epidural. But just the fact that I was fine, I got up, they said, okay, um, go pee or whatever. And then they... They told me, put you, that big, you know, mesh underwear that they give you, and I was just fine. I was able to get up. I felt great. I, at home, I never felt like the first stool is what people talk about, how 
hard it's going to be to push it out now everything was fine but when i had um my first labor with the epidural it, it was just all bad the recovery was horrible the first stool was so scary it hurt so bad i had to take the painkillers and so of course i'm gonna try and go natural again even though it was so scary in the delivery room. My husband says, I don't even want to go through that in anymore because it was scary. But I just know that I'm, my body's going to do better. And so there is just bringing me everything. Sorry if you can hear in the background. But I do have another doctor's appointment today. So I can give you a weight update um, after. And then I'll upload the video. But um, here are a few pictures of the ultrasound that we had two weeks ago. Um, just like a couple, not not that many. And um, and then I'll show you my belly. daughter's room right now and I just got back from my appointment and everything looks great the baby's fine um, my blood pressure is okay I'm measuring right on time my uterus is I did lose two pounds very weird so I guess my total weight gain for the pregnancy is 20 pounds and um, everything's fine I did ask the it was a nurse practitioner that I saw I did ask her if she could feel the baby, if the baby was head down. Derek, Derek, because um, since the placenta is down low, it's not over the cervix, remember, but it's um, down in that area. Um, I guess that's why the baby hadn't hadn't gone head down, and it was having a hard time going head down because the placenta was there the way that it was back with the last ultrasound but um sorry about that noise but the babe she said that the baby feels like it's head down like she would she's like 85 percent sure that it's head down so that's a good thing um but like i said everything's fine so thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed subscribe so that you can keep up with this pregnancy and then you'll get to see the baby when it's finally out yeah, we'll see if it's a girl or a boy that's going to be fun. And um, I do appreciate those of you who watch and who keep up. So make sure to sub subscribe. And I'll see you guys in two weeks on my next update, okay? Hopefully everything's great too.